good to be up here. I have never been up here in the fall, so to see it like this is pretty nice. I'm excited, uh, you know, I'm excited to see what happens. I'm very thankful for it. I want to thank the writers, you know, for voting for me. Here he is, the man of the hour. It is Jacob DeGrom, and we begin by saying congratulations to you. And again, how about joining the likes of Seaver and Matlack and Gooden on that Mets list? I mean, just to have my name mentioned with those guys is a real honor. Um, you know, coming into this year, never would have expected any of this, and um, just really thankful that it happened. It has been a meteoric rise. Go ahead, Harp. Jacob, you know, when you first came up, I heard, heard from scouts, you know, everybody said you were hard thrower, sinker down in the minor leagues. That's the way you got people out. Then you got up here, and scouts were amazed you, you were able to adapt and throw up in the zone as quickly as you could. You don't see that from guys young in the major leagues. How did you do that so quickly? Um, I think just working in between starts with Dan. Um, you know, he put a lot of work in with me. Uh, I would throw two sides sometimes in between starts to work on repeating my delivery and then just watching the video with him and working on, you know, repeat my delivery and different mechanical things has really helped out. You know, when I was in the front office with the Mets, we used to worry about guys coming up from the minor leagues mm -hmm. and how they'd handle New York. You pitched to yeah. a 1-7 ERA at home. I mean, that's ridiculous how good it is. How did you handle it? Um, I just tried to keep things simple. Just go out there and uh, take it, uh, you know, one pitch at a time and try to throw strikes. You know, when you first came up, the, the th theory was that you, you mm -hmm. were going to pitch, pitch out of the bullpen, and then here you are, Dylan G goes down, and you start against the Yankees. Your first big league start against the Yankees out at City Field. What about that adjustment mentally from going as a guy who was going to pitch in the bullpen to being a starter? Um, I think it was a bigger adjustment trying to figure out how I was going to throw out of the bullpen. Once they told me I was going to start, I was kind of a little more relaxed. Um, but uh, I just tried to go out there my first one, and, uh, you know, I didn't look around until the game was over because I knew there were a lot of people there, and I was, I was really nervous. So... Um, I just tried to have fun with it and try to throw strikes and I went out there and gave it my best. <laughs>